We're about to see a major polar vortex event that could bring historically cold temperatures into the United States as well as major snowfall events. So let's take a look at this and we have warmer temperatures way up in the atmosphere. It's going to move in and take place of that typically very, very cold temperatures that circulate the Arctic Circle. And what this is going to cause is colder temperatures to move into areas like Russia, Europe, United States, all of this colder air is going to exit the Arctic region and enter into the more middle latitudes and cause, again, very, very cold temperatures. And we can see these troughs set up again more over Mongolia and China, as well as here in the eastern and central United States, which is a big, big sign for extremely cold temperatures down the road. Now, we call this a sudden stratospheric warming event when we see this warmer air move over the Arctic Circle. And on the left, we could see a typical strong jet stream, strong polar vortex up there in the Arctic. And this jet stream doesn't really fluctuate too much. It's moving pretty circularly around the Arctic regions. But when we see this warmer air move over the Arctic, we get this really weak jet stream that's waving all over the place with all sorts of troughs and ridges here. And this is exactly what we anticipate for later on in November into the early December timeframe. The result of this over time is that we're going to see colder air begin to move into the central and eastern United States as soon as that last week of November. And as we take a look even further, we can see this is going to trickle into the December time frame as we're looking at early to mid-December here. And even into late December, around the Christmas time frame, we can still see cooler temperatures around for a lot of the United States. So this is going to be a long-term factor, not just a few days. We're seeing models now suggest major snowstorms like we're seeing here over the Midwest and Great lakes for the late November time frame. We have to take this with a grain of salt because it's so far out, but it is definitely a sign of what these models think is possible based on what we're seeing up there in the Arctic. That's the number one cause of all of this. Looking at the total snowfall, we see all sorts of snowfall happening from the Rockies through the Plains, Midwest, and Great Lakes later on in November from these models.